Nothing. I, I'm kidding. Being communicative, <laughs> being open to receiving, mm. listening to his needs and wants, giving receiving. him little surprises because I also like getting him gifts and stuff, being a peaceful place for him to relax outside of work and stressful social interactions, just like being his peace, being a supportive girlfriend, and just being there with my energy. I hope no. that answers your question. <laughs> not, not so, I mean, okay, mo most of the things that she just listed it should already be in a relationship. Like right. for, uh, there were a couple things that were perhaps more so like. The gifts was the only thing. <laughs> it was like. No, the only thing was peace. That was the only thing she said right. She didn't yeah, say anything right. And you want to know the one thing of that group I guarantee you she can't provide him? Peace. Is fucking peace. peace. Yeah. That is the only one she can't do. Well, she doesn't strike me as a peaceful no. person. Yeah, no. well, how the fuck are you going to be peaceful when you're nagging at him, telling him you have to do all this stuff? Or, like, I think she got no that list from someone else's TikTok. Uh, for sure. She, she, like, she wanted to go viral on TikTok. She didn't even show her face. She couldn't say it with a straight face. She didn't even show her face in that video. And she said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so um, your reaction to the... I actually had like the same exact reaction that you did. I wanted to know what she was bringing to the table. Mm -hmm. And like after seeing that video, like I, I see that... like like what she's saying that she's bringing to the table is somewhat similar to what she's requesting but the whole like my presence my energy is enough like yeah that's that's not it that's not yeah, it why is his presence and energy not enough right but he right. has to do the extra work and then because we yeah. don't have presence and energy we work we accomplish things Women we build things and we protect and we protect people that's mm -hmm. what we do we don't really have presence or energy protect people from what Protect people from anything. the world. Protect anything. Protect people financially. Protect people. Well, like I have family members that I protect them from getting scammed. Mm. All the time, I have older family Women members. Women can hit do me that. And they're Women like, "Hey, that. I just got a call from this guy from Jamaica who wants my bank card number." <laughs> we protect people when they walk to their car. We, that's, that's our job. That's the to only do it. one that matters with men is that you can be like a security guard. For sure. Know? That to me, people say masculinity is muscles and money and sleeping with all these girls. Masculinity mm. is willing to protect and die for your tribe. That mm. is what masculinity. That's important. Is. Those men <laughs> who stormed that beach in 19. 44 in France. Those men were masculine. That's what masculinity is. Let me ask you a question, Mike. Though. Do you think that both sides are holding up their end of the bargain? Because if, if it's man's duty to, to die for their woman mm -hmm. in, in some sort of self-defense situation, do you think that the other side is holding up their end of the bargain? So, so I've said this before. There are three genders. There's high-status high, uh, high men, low-status men, and women. High status men and low status men have nothing in common, nothing. They don't have the same brain chemistry, they don't have the same sexual partners, they don't make the same amount of money, they don't have the same physique, nothing. They have nothing in common. Literally, there's a book called Winner Effect that goes over the neurology of men who are successful in winning and, and uh, men who aren't, and there's nothing, they have nothing in common. And so if you're asking me, do high status men, do they fall short? I'll tell you, no, they don't. Well, for the most part, they have something going for them or they're providing something. Do low status men fall short? Well, they are the one subscribing on OnlyFans. So, I mean, you tell me, like that's the, that's the, that's, that is the dish issue. So we can't just say all men because men bifurcate way more than women do. Because when I talk to older women, so on my show, one of the things we do is we always try to get at least one, one or two people with a master's degree, one or two girls that are married. We try to get a different uh, group and we, we get the same answers. It doesn't matter if they're 23 or 43, we get the same answers. Women generally have the same answers when it comes to their uh, hypergamy, whereas men, they're very different answers when you're at the top. The, what you're saying before about catching your girl cheating, a guy who's high status is already on the phone with another girl before he even leaves the house. He's like literally calling the dude an Uber to get him the fuck out of there. He doesn't care. He's got the movers coming over to take her shit out. That's what a high status man would do. A low status man is going to uh, cry and bicker and beg to her, for her to come back. Do you see? Like that's not even the same fucking species. That's completely you? different. Yeah. Um, you said that a high status man really never falls short. Uh, no, no, he's not that he never falls short, but in one case or another, he has the access to scarce resources and he has the ability, uh, he has the ability to garner status. So a high status man could be like the guy who ran Enron. That's a, that's a very duplicitous, evil high status man, okay? Mm -hmm. Like Joseph Stalin or Pol Pot. That's an example of a high status man mm. who is very evil. It doesn't mean they're all- huh? That's extra, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm hearing you. I'm, I'm, using, hearing I'm using extreme examples. Yeah, yeah, I'm hearing you, I'm hearing you. Well, I could use one other example if you want and we'd get us kicked oh, off of YouTube. Oh God, okay, yeah. Yeah, I, know, I think I know where you yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. Uh, but yeah, but uh, I've been doing a lot of studying this week. I got a, I got a debate coming up. Uh, but no, but but wait, was Genghis Khan? Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> well, so, so I mean, no, this is a great example. Like Genghis Khan, uh, his Y chromosome. So for men, you can actually trace uh, the the variety in Y chromosome. That's why we know it, throughout history about eighty percent of women and only forty percent of men have reproduced because we can we can measure the Y chromosome. 
Uh, and so when you look at Genghis Khan, at one point, I believe it was like 8% of all uh, men that lived in uh, Asia had, had the same Y chromosome, which was from Genghis Khan and his son Kulia Khan back in the 15th century. So like when you realize that, that's what men were doing. They were conquering and that kind of thing. That doesn't mean they're always good. That doesn't mean they're always good. If you find a good man who's also high status, that's great. A lot of times men are high status. They express the opportunity to cheat. That doesn't mean that cheating is okay. A lot of people, whenever I read the David Buss uh, studies, they think, oh, you're just quali you're saying cheating is okay. No, no, we're not saying, we're not, yeah. nobody's saying that cheating mm -hmm. is okay, but a lot of them do cheat and women have a hard time understanding why it, why it is that happens. So what they'll do is they'll say, I want a higher and higher and higher status man. And then you explain to them, well, it's gonna be a higher, probability of them cheating and then they don't want to hear that they're like no yeah. they don't they don't believe that to, That's, add, to yeah. add to that like i felt like i was like really judged earlier for saying that like i dated a guy that like slept with other women and i was exclusive to him but at the end of the day like no no it was, it was two guys at the same time and you told them about each other that's what they were talking about well they actually requested that like we just court and like not like like not you know do anything too serious until we get to know each other further. Like that was pretty much. You, you it. met two men in in Brooklyn who didn't want to no, have sex. No, not in with Brooklyn. You? Oh. Oh, <laughs> I'm not saying they don't want to have sex, but one of them is Catholic, so they're a virgin. They don't. They won't have sex until they're married. And the other, I just. Does guy have a channel on Rumble? No. No. Okay, my bad. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, um, so to your point about like the high status yeah. men, um, like. Well, oh, no, my point was low status men don't have the ability to cheat. High status men are the ones who are cheating. So when I would agree with that. Yeah, when we say women, men always cheat. No, it's you mm. just keep dating the same VIP host, male mm. stripper, bartender over and over again, and you think that's indicative of all men. And then I take you to Jack in the Box or I take you to Walmart, and you look at the cashier, and you're like, who's he fucking? And you didn't even see him. You didn't even see that he was a man. You can't even imagine that this man has sex with anyone. So that's the thing. A lot of times when women ask the question, who are they talking about? They're talking about the dude who fucked them over and they think that's men. And that's just not the way it works because mm -hmm. there's just two very, very distinct classes of men. Did you I give your reaction to the video? Um, oh yeah, shit. I I Yo, right stay now. safe. Thank you for the uh, Twitch raid, man. Guys, stay safe. He's a uh, Giga Chad World of Warcraft player. Uh, he's been on the show two times. Yo, stay safe. Thank you very much for the uh, raid. Maybe we'll talk about World of Warcraft. Uh, did you ever play World of Warcraft, Mike? Uh, a little bit, not very much. Any, any, I was way, way more. more it's uh, Age of the Empire. Oh, Age that. of yeah. Empires. Anybody here are like a World of Warcraft? I play Guild Wars. I think it's That's better. That's not World of Warcraft. It's, but it's okay. the same MMO RPG. Type I already, game. I already did it. I, I tried it. it one time. Um, but after like a couple days, I wasn't into it. But I like video games, but I just don't like that style. Yeah, okay. it's funny, it's the only one I'm at Oblivion. I did everything, yeah. every, every other game except that one. Yo, Matt, thank you for the raid, man. Really appreciate it. Um, I did, I gave my opinion. Kelly, what about you? Your thoughts on that video with that girl? Um, I think everyone's allowed to have standards. I think hers were a little bit much. Um, hmm. They're a little kind of like delusional, you know? Um, I think the flowers every month is a little bit much because if he's doing a bunch of these other things for you, if he forgets to buy you flowers this one month, why is that a big deal? Um, and a lot of it is just like, how, how can you ask for these things when you're not bringing anything to the table that actually matters? Mm. Okay. Um, Micah, did you want to give a yeah. further take on she it? She has the right to say whatever she wants to say and believe mm. that that's the, that's, those are her standards she can express. However, the likelihood of her, when a man acquiesces to those standards she states, she is going to find him to be wanting. That's what I would say the probability is, meaning she's gonna meet a guy who off the bat says, oh, I watched your TikTok video and I'm gonna go ahead and buy you flowers every month and her vagina is gonna go, <laughs> it's gonna dry up just like that when she does that because essentially, can a woman like that get a man? Of course, there's all, all these men are simps. Uh, I don't know if you saw the, the recent study that came out. It was uh, men under the age of 35 never married. It's like 33% of men and 33% of women have zero sex in the last year. Yeah. Of course she's gonna find a dude who's desperate, 100% she'll find him. But she, when she, she gets in that relationship, she's gonna realize, oh, I don't want him. I don't want him. And then she's going to leave. The man that she does want, the reason uh, he probably already was with her and he didn't do any of those things that she stated. And that's why she has those rules because another guy didn't do those things and just got to have sex with her without being in a relationship. Priya, what about you? 
Um, I think her quote unquote expectations are pretty delusional. Um, those are all very kind gestures that if we were in a relationship with somebody that those are things that I would love for them to do occasionally, but they are not the standard and they're not something that I would absolutely expect them to do 100% mm. of the time. Again, it's a kind gesture, but that's not something that should be expected out of a relationship, especially with how little she's bringing to the table. Mm. And like you guys said, how she claims that she brings peace into a relationship, somebody that holds standards like that is not a peaceful person. Yeah, she doesn't, she comes off as super entitled and mm -hmm. I yeah. don't think entitlement particularly coincides with be, bringing peace to yeah. uh, a relationship. So, but I mean, anybody who's on TikTok whinging like that, there's no way you're bringing fucking peace to a relationship. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. 